Okay, so in one of my last reviews, I was going over the difference between FFG and uh, Days of Wonder when it came to Battle War. So it, it was announced a while ago that FFG has no plans on reprinting the original uh, Battle War set as it was. They say the price point's too much, and how FFG can't somehow manage to put out Battle of the original base set is beyond me. I mean, they're the company that is the master of too many of these pl little plastic minis. But I just wanted to give you a comparison. Three games I'm going to mention, and I'm going to mention their prices without the titles. Okay. Game 1. 210 miniatures, double side eight, one double sided map, six, 120 total cards, another 40 summary cards, and uh, let's say two handfuls of dice. That's game one. It came out. It was 59.95, or it was either 59.99, yeah, 59. Okay, let's let's just screw the MSRP. It was either sixty or it was either sixty or seventy bucks. Game two, four game boards printed on both sides, two hundred plastic figures, one hundred twenty cards, two dice, one hundred fifty counters, two player reference cards. That's game two. Came out. It was ninety nine ninety five. One hundred bucks. Game three. 138 plastic figures, one six panel double sided map board, eight dice, 110 cards, hundreds of tokens. Game three, it came out, it was it was uh, $80. So, all from FFG, well, yeah, all from FFG. So, it leaves the question game, what games are they? First one's Battle Law. Second one is the newly released Napoleon, the um, Lion. Wait, I don't. I'm, I'm not sure what the Napoleon, the Napoleon Command Colors game. That makes it simple. Third game is Battle of Westeros. Now I don't see how, if FFG can somehow make a profit on both Napoleon and Battle of Westeros, why can't they find a way to publish Battle War? I mean, if the the, if the Battle of original box. If it's that big of a deal, just charge more. Ten bucks more, whatever. I mean, the games will end up being insanely expensive at the rate it's going. They're already going up. But it just doesn't make any sense. And it leaves me to believe that FFG will continue to put Battle Law on the back burner, putting out half-assed expansions, while Westeros... Wait, not Westeros. I hate that. Uh, Wetteros, Wetteros Battle, I don't know what it's called, that crappy, I mean, they, they I think they just bought Battle Lore to slap the name on the Battle of Wetteros system, which has nothing to do with Battle Lore anyway, and then try to make a couple bucks off the expansions, which if you actually paid MSRP for the expansions, you're getting totally ripped off, I mean, the newest expansion, Horrific Horde, is the same figures that have been released before with one new monster and a couple of new ones. Everyone's like, oh, you need the you need the you need the new figures to make a complete goblin army. But if you already have all the goblins and all the dwarves, you can put a complete goblin or dwarf army on the field. It's just a matter of it's got to be every, you know what units are going to be, it's going to be every single unit. But what's, what's the problem with that? So what? Oh no, I can't slip in my halberders instead of, you know. It, it's stupid. And I think, I think we're never going to see another, we're probably going to see another human update. Uh, actually, I don't know what they're doing right now, if they're doing anything. But it's just silly and really, FFG has to do something here because... I was I was actually happier with with Days of Wonder, but that's just me. All right, thanks for watching. Nobody who watched, and I'm gonna throw this over my YouTube.